Hi, welcome to getting started with Remote Desktop Manager for Teams, step 10, import your data. Now that you've created your data source, your security provider, your folder structure, you've created your users, roles, entries, and granted all your permissions, you can finally start to import your data. Using File, Import, you can import entries from multiple sources directly in RDM. We support native import formats from many popular tools on the market, and in case we don't support the native format or the third party you're trying to use, well, no worries, we have wizards to import from a CSV file. The import entries is used to import sessions stored in files like RDM or XML. You could also import computers from different sources like network, neighborhood, your current domain, or other domain on your network or list of computers from a file. You could also import session, login, or contact. You can find out more about all our import options in our online help. So on my side, I actually have a list of logins from KeePass that I wish to import in my RDM. So I'll go in Login, click on KeePass, select Credentials. I have my list in a CSV file. I'll just click on the ellipsis, select my CSV file and click on OK. I can now import selected entries or all the entries. So I'll unselect all and choose only the one entry I choose to import and click on OK. And that's it, my credential is automatically imported in RDM. And now I can finally tell you, congratulations, you've completed the RDM Getting Started for Teams checklist. Great job. You can now enjoy the full power and flexibility of Remote Desktop Manager. Enjoy and don't hesitate to comment, visit or chat if ever you have questions or comments. We are always there for you.